Over the years, the county has kept statistics on the drainage and floodplains, and right now we have over 7,000 residential properties that have had drainage issues. We have a further over 1,000 homes that were constructed within floodplains. Many of these homes are older homes and established parts of the county. And at the time they were constructed, there were really no rules to prohibit them from being built where they are. Today, we would not allow them. Controlling stormwater is a very significant and expensive challenge for us. As part of our proposed 21-22 budget, we have requested money to address our floodplain and drainage problem. And our Board of Supervisors is presently considering our request for over a million and a half dollars to provide a great benefit to many of the residences that have drainage or floodplain issues. It's not a simple matter in every case to just put a larger culvert in. There's effects downstream. If we double the size of the culvert, that means somebody else is getting twice as much water that they didn't get before. So we always have to be very careful to make sure that we're not solving a problem in neighborhood A and creating a new problem in neighborhood B. Some of our residents who are in floodplains don't realize they're in floodplains and that can be a serious problem if they have a casualty loss, if their home gets flooded and they do not have flood insurance. Every resident should know their floodplain status. You can find that out by calling Public Works. They can look at it on our geographical information system. You can actually do it online from your own home computer by going on the county's website to the GIS page, Geographical Information System, and look it up yourself. We know where the issues are. We know how many homes are impacted. We know which homes are in the floodplain and in the floodway. Now that we have that information, now that we've asked for resources, money to address this problem, we can start working on it.